What we're looking at here is a Taoist shrine made of porcelain and it's in the shape of a miniature mountain and you can see it's quite craggly and on the sides you have these stylized clouds. Um, mountains have a particular significance for Taoism um, because uh, it is believed that that's where um, the uh, transcendence or immortals dwell. On the back also this has an inscription on it which actually tells us when it was made. So the inscription says that it's uh, made on an auspicious day um, in the Bing Shu year of the Yongle reign. Um, so that's referring to 1406. And it also mentions that it was made on the Chu festival, which is what we now commonly call the Dragon Boat Festival. All of the different gods uh, show us something that is a characteristic of Ming Dynasty Taoism. So for example, in the middle uh, level of the shrine, we have the depiction of the three supreme deities of Taoism. Uh, in the center, we have um, what's called the celestial worthy of original commencement, Yuan Shi Tianzun. And then on his side, we have another supreme deity called the celestial worthy of numinous treasure, uh, Ning Bao Tianzun, um, who is holding a Ruyi scepter, a wish-granting scepter. And then we also have another deity on the side called um, Dao De Tianzun, or the celestial worthy of uh, virtue and its power. Um, and he is holding a fan. So these are the supreme deities of Taoism. On the top level, we have um, a depiction of a very interesting god. He's a thunder god, actually, um, which is a, a major development within uh, Ming Dynasty Taoism. Um, this uh, interest in drawing upon the power of thunder for uh, different rituals and also for the benefit of humankind, for exorcism, for example. Um, and you can see him with his hair loose and riding a mythical beast known as a qilin. In the lower level of the shrine, we have um, another major uh, deity of Ming Dynasty Taoism. His name is Chen Wu, or the Perfected Warrior, um, and he rises to the height of his popularity during the Ming Dynasty. On the other side of him, we have a celestial being called Zhang Daoling, um, and he is the founder of what's known as the Celestial Masters, which is the main tradition of Taoism that was uh, dominant in the Ming Dynasty. In the center, we have a deity. Uh, at the moment, there's still some uncertainty about his identity. He might be uh, the Jade Emperor, or he might be um, the, uh, the Emperor of the Eastern Peak, but more research needs to be done on that. Well, this shrine is um, would be made in the Longchuan kiln sites in the southern part of Zhejiang province. And you can tell because it has typical rich green glaze which covers the whole of the shrine. And then you also see in the base this kind of reddish coloring, um, which is happens when the body of the, um, the porcelain is exposed in firing. So it's a very typical of the, um, this type of celadon ware that's produced in the Longchuan kiln sites. One of the points um, in the exhibition is that there were many belief systems that um, coexisted within Ming China. The major religions um, of uh, the Ming dynasty were Buddhism and Taoism. Islam also has a role. There were communities of Jews, for example, in Ming China. So there were different belief systems that were coexisting. Taoism is important, just as Buddhism was also important, because it also not only was, uh, was supported by um, uh, and worshipped by ordinary people, it was also a major part of um, the state and of, of the emperors and their own personal interests. So for example, um, the Yongle emperor uh, referred to Taoism and Taoist gods in order to legitimize his rule. So there were major Taoist temples that were built during the early 15th century that was um, particular to uh, Ming Dynasty China. Thank you.